what's poppin' bones. It's your grandma though. Back, still giving them hell. And let me tell y'all, I need to talk to y'all tonight. Mella, Mella, she find herself wrapping the bills. Mella, Mella, hey yeah yeah, oh Mella, I said hey yeah yeah, oh Mella. It is currently like nine, maybe nine thirty, something like that. She went back in the house, bed's in the room, watching TV. You know what I'm saying? She might be asleep by this time, but you know. I had to sit down and talk to y'all because, like, I just need to let y'all know something, right? So, y'all know, I was, you know, I was, when I was moving, I was doing really good with my update videos and letting y'all know. First of all, I don't feel like this is centered, so we're going to center this and then I'm going to, we're going to come back. But, um, yeah, like, I just feel like I just want to give y'all a quick update. I really am not trying to make this a long video because, like I said, it is late and, Y'all put these on. Do I look like something? Do I look like, do I look like I'm doing something? Do I look like I'm going somewhere? Because I'm really not. You know, I'm going out of my damn mind. But anyways, for real, like, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. Let's going to catch y'all this piece. So, I've been here for um, a couple months now. Um, I really like, I mean, I really like living here. I really like it. Every day that I stay here, it gets more homey. And it feels more like, you know, like home. Like, it just feels more... Now I'm gonna say home because every time I say, man, I can't wait to go home. Um, whenever I refer to home, I, I still talk about Maryland. Like, oh, at, well, back home, we, back home, we. I be talking about Maryland. So, um, yeah, home is where the heart is. My heart is still there. But every day I stay here, it gets more homey. It gets more comfortable. I get more comfortable. So, my curtains I'm looking at them right now, they, um, they doing something. I got them halfway up. Got the rod and the, and the panel. So, we gonna finish them at, at some point. Don't know when. Um, as y'all see, this is still playing. So, I mean, I feel like it's a little late for a house or maybe not. If y'all still want that, y'all need to let me know. So, I'm DM me like this. You know what I'm saying? Just let me know. Like, y'all still want to be nosy and see my house. Because I'll show y'all my house. I'll show y'all the palace, like, real quick. But, um, yeah, like, I don't know. I My job, my job been, y'all know I do security. So, they just need to get it together. I mean, it's very, to me, it's very unorganized. It's very all over the place. Like, the hour is not it. I'm definitely looking for another job because, like, I, I got bills to pay. I can't go to work my butt off and I still can't pay my bills. You, you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not about to, if I'm going to go to work, I want to go to work and have something to show for it. I don't want to go to work and be like, damn, I'm still struggling. Like, I think I've struggled. Sorry, y'all. Y'all just see my little ratchet cover up. I'm get real with y'all because... So, yeah, like, I feel like I'm going to work for what? Like, I'm going to work to be broke. <laughs> and I'm broke. <laughs> so, like, that's just that. It's my favorite pain. This has been me in the mirror for the past week. <laughs> Trying to smile through the pain because your girl's sad. But, um, or what else? Okay, it's okay. Because, you know, we, I, I, I'm going to give you all this darkness and then I'm going to give you all lesson at the end. But, I mean, that's the first thing. It's like, I know my job right now is really not covering my bills. Shout out to my grandma because through it all, like, if she wasn't having my back right now, I don't know what I'd be doing because I'm not, I'm not even going to front to y'all. Like, y'all know I keep real with y'all. Like, I've been struggling to pay my bills. I've been struggling to, like, keep my stuff maintained and whatnot. And it's kind of hard. So... Put the show on top. So it's kind of hard to like maintain and keep things afloat because you know what I'm saying? On top of trying to be a star and trying to be a mom and like, you know, go to work, it's like hard. Like, I gotta remind myself sometimes that I'm 18 years old. I'm not 25, I'm not 38. Okay. I'm gonna give her some juice, y'all, and we will come back. Say hey, bro. Mama Bell, you know. Anyway, that's what I was saying. So, on top of, you know, trying to juggle all the things that I do and wear the mini hats that I wear, you know what I'm saying? It's not complaining because you, you know what I'm saying? You can't complain when you have a lot of your plate when your goal was to eat, right? So, you got to take it as it comes and handle it as it goes. Sometimes you're going to have those hectic days. Sometimes you're going to have those days where it's like, all right, bro, I can't talk to nobody today. I'm strictly grinding. I'm strictly 
in grind mode and that's just what it is that's just kind of how i've been feeling i've been feeling really down actually like i talked to one of my really really close friends danny y'all seen her on here a few times seen her on my story if you have me on um, social media but um i've been talking to her a lot kind of recently as in like today yesterday recently about how i'm feeling just because like i know you know when you get down and i know how i am and just my uh way of thinking and stuff is when I'm down, I'm down. So it's like, I don't want to be down. I want to be up. I want to be good. So I've been kind of talking to her. So shout out to you. I do love you. I shout out to you because you're the only one I really been talking to about. So I know you watching this. So go ahead, drop me a comment. But um, aside from that, like everything I just feel like is overwhelming. And I'm going to be real with y'all because I know in the beginning it's like, oh, Mel, you got it. You know what I'm saying? You got it together. You're 18. Like you're doing your thing. You're on your thing. You know what I mean? You pop and you. But, like, in reality, that's what y'all see. But, like, that's why I'm making this video. It's just, like, like not, like, for real. Like, it looked like I got it together, but I don't. Like, I still go to my grandma for help to pay my bills. I still go for my grandma to help. I need gas money to fill my car up. I still, you know what I'm saying, am reliant. My friends, I don't think I've ever really been the one to be like, hey, you got $10, hey, you got $20, hey, you got, you know what I'm saying, files for me, you got files for me. And I've been that friend lately that's like, you got five, you got ten, you got five, you got ten. Like, and that's how I know I'm kind of down bad. So I'm like, dang, I'm usually the one that, you know what I'm saying, got everybody, making sure everybody good. And it's like, right now, I, I really am so I'm thankful that I have those people to rely on sometimes when I need that quick help or I need some help or, you know what I'm saying, whatever. Um, so if y'all help me out or y'all know I sent y'all that cash out request, no, for really thank y'all just for helping me out. I don't understand how much I appreciate that. Um, especially Darius, I know he's my best friend. He's been like having my back for real, for real. So. Thank you for that. Because I know you watching this too. So I just wanna, I'm just very thankful. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, religion is different, but I'm gonna tell you right now, without God, bro, I would not be sitting here because, like, if y'all want me to be real with y'all, these red papers on your door, they're not good. They're not They're not what you want to see on your door. I'd rather have been a check for like a grant, but it won't, so whatever. These are not good. Like, this is a five day notice to pay your rent or you gonna have some problems. Like. I understand, like, I've been here that long, and that's what I'm saying, y'all, like, I'm really struggling, like, what y'all, go ahead, read it, they got my mouth in there, but anyway, five days, within five days, like, you know what I'm saying, and I'm not stressed, I was definitely crying, and I was definitely stressed out, but, like, I'm not even stressing about this anymore, because it's, like, I know God gonna handle every, all my needs, like, yeah, I'm not, you know what I'm saying, I'm not gonna sit around and be like, dang, let me get this eviction notice and hope it go away, no. I'm gonna do what I need to do and get it together and make this disappear. Y'all like that? Make this disappear. Make this disappear. Okay. And um, I'm gonna do what I need to do. And I know that, you know, if I need to reach out for some help, I can do that. But I don't wanna be in this position. So, for one, let me tell y'all what. I'm gonna cross my legs. Boom, get real comfortable. I'm gonna tell y'all if you're not ready to do something and you can wait, then wait. You know what I'm saying? My situation was different. I had to move. I had to get on my feet and do what I want to do. And I'm thankful that I'm, I'm still able to do that so young. Because by the time I'm 22, 23, 24, 25, I'm going to be like, oh, I've been doing this, living on my own. I've been paying bills. I've been doing this stuff. I already know versus starting later in the game. So I'm, you know what I'm saying, thankful for that. But pace yourself and take your time. And I even i am still learning to do that, to pace myself and take my time. And like, Mel, you don't got to do it all at once. Like, you know what I'm saying? Take one day at a time. I make my budget, I plan, if you, you know, I haven't showed you my room yet, so I have a wall, I have an organization wall, weekly planner, monthly planner, notes and breakdowns of things I need to do throughout the week, throughout the day, throughout the month, like, I make sure that I'm on top of everything that I need to be on top of, but it's definitely hard, I'm just here to tell y'all, like, it's hard, like, it really do get hard, and sometimes I get really overwhelmed and upset, and I'm like, bro, like, what if I don't, what if I fail, like, what if I don't do Right, and sometimes I get upset because I feel like I'm disappointed in myself because I came here, but I'm not trying to cry, but I came here with a whole different idea of like, I'm gonna get here, I'm gonna build my stuff, I'm gonna build my YouTube stuff, I'm gonna find me a good job, I'm gonna do everything that I need to do. And to be here and be like struggling and not really have all the stuff that I need to have together, it kind of disappoints me because I feel like I'm letting myself down. I feel like I'm letting Vega down. And that is kind of hard because like, you want to be able to do great. And I want the people that look up to me and, look and see me doing great. I want to really be doing great. I don't want to have to be like, yeah, it's good. Yeah, I'm good. Everything's good. And it's really not. 
And that's why I'm talking to y'all now because it's really not good. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I know that y'all love how I keep it real. So that's what I'm trying to do. Like, the people that do look up to me, which is crazy that anybody looks up to me. Because I'm telling you right now, I'm not enough and great to be looking up to. But the fact that there's people that I know do look up to me and do kind of watch my life for inspiration. Like, I just want y'all to know it really do get hard. It gets hard sometimes. But that's the, that's the beauty. That's the that is the beauty of it. It's like it reminds you that you're human, and it reminds you that you still do need some help sometimes. You can't do it all by yourself. Nobody is self-made because it takes somebody else to listen to your stuff, your product. Your, you need customers. You need fans. You need supporters. You need someone to think that you're great or what you're doing is great enough. So you're not self-made. I'm not self-made. I know I could, everything that I have and that I'm doing is because of somebody else or because somebody believed in me or supported me. Big time for me from Lake Ryan, but um, hey, don't be telling nobody I'm on his own crying, bro. We don't do that. It was a quick, that was a dust in my eye. We ain't finna, we not finna cry. We ain't doing that because you know why? We're gonna stay on top of our situation. We're not gonna let our situation get the best of us. So that's what we're gonna do. And that's what I'm here to tell y'all, like, I understand right now that I am struggling. I'm telling you right now, I'm struggling, like financially struggling, but I know how to make a dollar holla. I know how to make a stretch. I know how to work it. You see, I'm still here, right? That this, that paper I showed y'all, that's not an eviction notice. Don't get, don't get it twisted. That's not an eviction notice. That's a notice, like, hey, cause you know, my rent was due on the first, but we had to the fifth to pay it without any penalties or whatever. So that's like a grace period. They like saying like, yo, you falling in a grace period, just, just a reminder, you know, you know what I'm saying? Pay stuff. That's all. And I'm why am I telling you that? Because something like you don't need to be telling anybody about your jack exit. This video ain't for you. I'm telling y'all because y'all need to know that it's real. And some people might watch this and, and happy and pray and you know, they pray on your downfall. They'll help tear you down, but they won't help build you up. Like some people might enjoy this video because they know I'm struggling. They don't want to see me do great, but that's okay. Because but God, <laughs> like y'all don't understand. Like I know that this is something great is gonna come out of this i actually had a fortune thing yesterday i think it was matter of fact that said you're destined for greatness or something like that like you're you're meant to be great or something like that and i'm just like you know how easy it is to just not get those or miss out on that message or something like that and because i'm so spiritual so like, i really feel like that's god like reminding me like i understand you're going through it right now but just remember you know what i'm saying there's remember trust me like that's another thing. I pray. I don't go to church a lot because I, I do work and I, you know what I'm saying, my Sundays consist of other things. But I pray. Just trust and believe. Prayer works. It does. Prayer works. And I know without it, I wouldn't be where I'm at. I don't. I just want y'all to know I'm thankful for everything that I have. I know this video is everywhere, but you know what I'm saying? You know I'm going to bring it back. So, like, all in all, just to let y'all know, it gets real. Like, and if you're struggling, you're struggling. Like, don't try to put on a front or facade whether you live your life on camera or whether you don't live your life on camera don't try to put on the front for other people like everything's okay and like you're okay and if you're not because like i know that i'm not really okay right now so i'm gonna reach out and do what i need to do to make sure i am okay and if you feel yourself slipping and falling or you know what i'm saying your finance is not right sit down and make your plan if you need to sit down and make your plan make your plan i'm telling y'all right now i'm a planner writer if you need me to help you DM me, text me, something, and be like, Mel, I need a plan. I need help saving. I need help budgeting. And I got you. And I'm going to say, you know what? FaceTime me so we can do this. Or I'm going to say, you know what? What you got so I can help you with this? Uh, like, and it will. And that's the only reason why, like, yeah, I'm struggling. Yeah, I got money problems. But my life's still on. My water, you know what I'm saying? My life's still on. My rent's going to get paid, like, maybe a little bit. You know what I'm saying? In that grace period, it might not be right on the day, but it's going to get paid. Like, I'm not getting kicked out. I'm not going to lose my stuff. My car not getting repoed, like you know what I'm saying. So it's ways to work around your obstacles. Like they're put there to make you stronger. Do not trip and fall over the things that get in your way. You better, oh, excuse me, step over them. You know what I'm saying? Get it together. Like, and I'm kind of talking to myself as well because your girl needs to kind of talk to herself. Need them self pep talk. And that's another thing. You know what I'm saying? Talk to yourself. Manifest the things that you want. That's a big thing too. But we can talk about that in another video because I don't want to ramble. So. I'm just here to tell y'all, like, I am struggling right now, and even with YouTube, I really, it sucks that I'm not consistent like I want to be, but I really did, you know what I'm saying, think of this idea, but we'll talk about that in the next video. This is more so of our sit down and talk videos. If y'all know where I can get some dope pictures, side note, let me know, because this, this right here, it's not giving me palace vibes, it's giving me, like, 
I don't know, but I need some I need some pop. I want something with some blue and some black and white in it because that's the theme I got going on for my living room. But oh no. I just wanted to tell y'all like, you know, I'm struggling, but I'm gonna be alright. I'm gonna get this together. If y'all struggling, talk to me. Like let's talk about our struggles. Let's figure out how we can if not help each other, push each other, or just kind of talk it out with each other because I don't know what y'all got going on. Y'all know what I got going on. I got money problems like a mother. I got money problems. You know what I'm saying? Time management problems. I'm working on that as well. Like trying to be more organized and get things together and um, just working on that and keep being on my real high my stuff. And that's what I'm trying to do. So. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all gonna wish me well, and I love y'all for that. I really do. Like, I, when y'all drop comments, and even when y'all watching, don't drop comments, but y'all definitely be on y'all DM me. Y'all text me, Mel, you know, Bell, what you don't be doing that. Don't be discouraged. Like, like thank y'all. Everybody that do that, I appreciate y'all, like, from the bottom of my heart. I need that. I need y'all to keep giving me that encouragement because me being me, I'm not this super rock. I need y'all. I need y'all. And I, I appreciate y'all. I thank y'all. I love y'all. And just everything, like, I hope this video was not too long. I hope y'all kind of understand what I got going on right now. Because I definitely wanted to update y'all, let y'all know. So, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, the video got this to be a little bit more lighter. I got some new content. I got some new collabs. I got all this new stuff on the way. I hate to be a coming soon ass type of person. Like, I ain't even saying coming soon. I'm just letting y'all know. Like, we finna pop. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's it. Like, I don't have no really catchy rhymes for y'all. You know, I spent too much time with y'all. But say like, nah, I ain't even finna do <laughs> I ain't gonna do it. I ain't even gonna rap tonight. That's it, that's all. It's your girl Mel Bell. Till next time. I don't have a rhyme. Alright, for we out, we out.